Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with day five, the final day of questing night week. So questing knights are one of the units from Bretonia. It is one of the most complicated and intricate units of knights that exists. I will go into them in further detail next week. I plan on doing a video based on all the different knight units for Bretonia, what they do, their backstory, all that kind of jazz. And um, so I will go into them in a bit more detail then. But for now, like I said, I've been working on them all week. One continuous week, one video every single day, Monday through Friday to deliver you a finished unit of six. Those numbers don't add up because I did an extra one, which is this guy here. And I did him on my Twitch streams, Tuesday and Thursday evening between eight and 10 p.m. Irish time. I stream on Twitch um, and I got this guy base coated and washed on Tuesday and layered up on Thursday. It did require a little bit of work after the stream to get him finished up, but there was my sixth or fifth quest tonight finished and added into the unit. Today is the last day and today I will be working on the champion of the squad. As for a color scheme, after much deliberation from my patrons, they decided that I should do the um, channel colors, which is blue and orange. So that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna do a blue and orange questing night um, to represent the, uh, the channel and to be the leader of this unit. So yeah, before I get into this video, I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of my active patrons. You guys are incredible. You've shown such huge support this week and this month. If you guys are interested in getting involved with that, helping support the channel, there's links in the description below. You get access to a private Discord server where you can talk to me about your hobby on a daily basis. And you also get access to a daily vlog that I put up showcasing what I'm doing that day, thoughts, feelings, all those kind of bits and pieces. Like for instance, I put up a video today, this morning, first thing, because I had an idea for a quick and effective video that I could put out on Saturday. And I basically bounced that idea off all my patrons and they came back with tons of ideas about what I should do and how I should do it. So big thank you for that guys. And I will be pushing ahead with that video. Okay, without further ado, let's jump in and get this night painted. Okay guys, we have day five of questing night week and we have the sixth questing night. We've managed to get the first five done, four of them in previous videos, Monday through Thursday, and one that I completed on Twitch streams on Tuesday and Thursday evening, so it's a lot of fun. So I'm very excited to be working on the last questing night. And like I said, this one is going to be based on the uh, channel logo. So he is going to be orange and blue. So I decided to go for orange and blue quarters. I tend to like doing Bretonian color schemes in quarters. I don't know why. Um, the halved schemes, either front and back or side to side, is just kind of like, it, I don't know, it's just like, if, if one half the model is orange, one half is blue, it just depends on which way the model is facing, makes it look like an all blue night or an all, all orange night. Unless you can see all of the kind of color scheme at every glance, at every corner, then I think it's it's not as nice, at least for me personally. So I quite enjoy the quartered scheme. So we're gonna start with orange on the front right and then back left. And then obviously we're gonna move on to the blues. Now as traditional, we are gonna start with contrasts and we're gonna use contrast to get all of our base coats on. Orange base coat contrast is so good and so clean. In yesterday's blue, I talked about using Talazar blue and I talked about it being just too bright. It was the wrong color. If I could go back and redo it, I would choose Ultramarines blue. Now, the fact that I've been lucky enough to do the blue on this the next night, I'm like, okay, well, time to put my money where my mouth is. So I grabbed Ultramarines blue contrast and used that as the base coat and the foundation for building up the blue on this particular night. This week of content, basically doing all of the different questing nights has been very fulfilling and rewarding for me. I always enjoy doing it. And like now, obviously I'm recording this in hindsight, I have seen what the six models look like in a unit together. I'm so pleased to have this unit painted. It is one of the most complicated units. It is the most complicated unit to paint for a Bretonian army. And seeing it all done and on a shelf looks so good. I'm yet to take out my Grail Knights and put it next to them but I will be doing that pretty much as soon as I'm finished recording because I'm dying to see what they all look like together. I have often talked about doing more mini series kind of video sets like this in the future. Um, and I'm always happy to hear if you guys have any suggestions for it. I have talked about doing things like, um, like I got an Imperial Knight Porphyrian um, sitting in a box untouched and I thought that could be 
a three or five day kind of video series of getting the entire thing assembled and cleaned up and put together and painted in one stretch you'll get video after video updates until the end of the week we'd have this big beautiful beast of a thing completed if that's something that interests and excites you please do let me know or if there is any other kind of content you think you would like to see stretched out over the course of a couple of days or a week also please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments um i'm, I'm very much open to it <clears throat> this one week has also been quite a good success high numbers good number of patrons and, and all that kind of jazz so not only is it a fulfilling like a like guilty pleasure of getting my nights painted but it's also obviously content that people are craving for there's been lots of comments talking about there's not a lot of creators out there dedicating enough time to old world and I am glad to be one of them pushing ahead with that and helping people get involved, letting them understand what kind of units can be used, how to get them painted, what armies look like, and so on and so forth. And I have plans in the future, in the kind of near future, to do more videos based around the concept of helping people design armies or letting them know if you want to start a Chaos Dwarf army, this is how I recommend you get started, considering they're not going to make the models anymore um, and stuff like that. Like, for instance, I do have plans for a video next week where I go through the five different types of knight units that exist in a Bretonian army. Now that I have at least one unit of each of them painted up, I think it would be super cool to see them on the tabletop all lined up and then literally talk through them what is a knight's errand what is its purpose on the battlefield what are its pros and cons so on and so forth from knights of the realm to grail knights to pegasus knights to quasi knights and um i think that'd be a really interesting video to see and to let people know how many different varieties of knights actually exist in a bretonian army for anyone who hasn't done any actual research, you would say, oh yeah, a Bretonian army, it's got lots of knights in it. They might know the difference between a knight and a Pegasus knight because they're so vastly different in image and look, but they might not know the difference between a questing knight and a grail knight or a knight of the realm and a knight errant. And that's where my other kind of video content will come in and hopefully help that out. If that's another idea you think is a good one, then like I said, let me know. I also must say that the Twitch streams this week have been very, very good. High numbers of people showing up, loads of fun engagement, lots of people enjoying the hobby, keeping each other motivated um, and just having a good time. If that's something as well that interests you, like I said, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Irish time. The idea behind my Twitch streams is accountability. So it is four hours in a week that you need to be sitting at your desk with your paintbrushes out, your models in hand, and to be painting along. I always find when there's a little bit of structure like that, when you know, you know, Tuesday morning, you're like, oh, I get to paint for two hours this evening. I know that's a set thing in my diary or my calendar or whatever, then I find you get a lot more done. Um, so I do encourage as many people as possible if you ever get struggled with getting things done or doing any consistent painting please do think about joining us on the Twitch stream um, you don't have to subscribe or do any of that jazz or pay any money whatsoever it's literally just show up, be there get involved in the chat, say hello get some painting done and then share that with us I also talked about during the week the fact that my Bretonian content I don't actually know how many videos are in my Bretonian playlist now that's something I should probably check but it's quite a few and I don't honestly know how many more videos I have intended for Bretonians. I know at the bare minimum, I want to do a man at arms, a uh, mounted yeoman, and a trebuchet. After that, I think I'm fairly good on the content. I don't know what would be left to do. I think I've covered most things. And um, so, yeah, I guess it's time to now move on to the next army to hyper fixate on and create mountains of content for and um, originally it was going to be beastman but uh my beastman army is a kind of one that's in need of a little bit of tlc before i get back into painting which is an unfortunate one so potentially i might move on to high elves and do a bunch of videos for them they are an army that have been interesting me interesting me that have my interest god damn it and so i am excited to get stuck back in with those and get them rebased and painted up Okay, now that we have all the base coats on, it's time to do the layering. And with both the orange and the blue, I'm going to go through the full three stages of paint from the two thin coats range. I know it is a contradiction to some of the stuff I talked about earlier in the week where I use the base coats and washes, i.e. the contrast and the washes, to kind of mitigate the first coat of two thin coats. But I wanted really, really rich colors 
um, on this night. Obviously, orange is my favorite color. This is the channel night, if you will. So I feel like I'm just going to put in the extra effort and make sure he looks really good. So I'm just going to go through base coat, mid-tone, and highlight of the two thin coats range um, and paint these guys up. Um, you will notice that when I'm doing projects for fun, like this one, where I don't necessarily expect people to follow along and paint their quest nights the same as me, hence why I don't do a lot of like explaining every single step as the painting video goes on. I just like to kind of chat about what's happening and stuff. I tend to reach to the two thin coats range of paints. I am not sponsored or affiliated in any way with these paints, but I love them. The most support I've gotten from them is I paid full price for the first wave. I backed the original Kickstarter for these paints before we even knew they were good. I backed them. Um, and I did very kindly, I did back the second one, but I canceled my backing because they reached out to me and offered to send me a set, which was very kind of them. And they did very much do that. Um, but I think they only did that because they saw my videos and saw how positive I was about the paints and how much I was enjoying them. Um, I just think they're fantastic. And if you guys are curious and do want to check them out, most independent stockets do stock them these days. If you're in England and you do want to help me out, you can, of course, jump over to Element Games and buy them from them. I have a link down below to Element Games where if you want to purchase any product from them, the channel will get a small kickback at no extra cost to you. And when purchasing through Element Games, you save yourself about 15% anyway. So it's a win-win for both of us. But uh, I don't expect people to go in and buy the entire Two Thin Coats range. I've been saying, um, if you want to try them, buy a single triad, which is three paints and just dry them out. I, I love the uh, Caucasian skin tone one. It's so good. The orange is so good. The red is so good. Um, there's a, it's just, there's so many that are so good. Just buy a triad and give it a try. Um, that will tell you whether or not this is a range of paints that interests you, excites you, or you're going to work with. Now, if you are so inclined and you want to follow along with these videos, maybe one of the, the nights, um, uh, whether it be the Grail Nights or the Quest Nights, stood out to you and you're like, you know what, I want to paint a Bretonian Army like that, but I don't want to use two thin coats. There is links in the description below, once again, for a conversion chart that Two Thin Coats did. So you can find the equivalent paints for both Citadel and Army Painter, which should help you out and do that. You can already see that I'm jumping up to the mid-tone of the orange and it's uh, it's just gorgeous. Or the highlight of the, of the orange and it's, it's just so nice. It's such a beautiful, rich orange color. Um, because I do the scratchy highlights, it does give that kind of textured fabric feel. I love it. Now I'm going to move over to the blues. I haven't used the triads of blues an awful lot, except for yesterday's video where I used the mid-tone and highlight and I did it over the Talazar blue. I think this blue is going to be nicer. We're starting from a much darker place. And then, like I said earlier, I'm going to go through the entire three blue paints uh, and work up the colors. I was dubious about doing uh, a night in this color scheme. I wasn't sure whether it was going to look well, whether the colors were gonna to work together. And I'm so glad that people pushed me to do it because I do think it looks really cool. Especially when you get to the final highlight of the blue and you just see the orange and the blue finish next to each other. After that, I was sold. I was really excited to see what the night looked like finished. I'm glad it's the, you know, the champion of the unit. Um, you know, one of the nights I will stick around till almost the very end. I think the, the banners last. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's it's great colors. Um, like I said, I've got some Bretonian units left to paint. I think I'm going to do another three units of six knights. That's just been pottering around in the back of my head. One more unit of knights errant and two more units of knights of the realm, I think will be um, where my knights finish up. Um, I think I'm gonna do one of them in the red and black scheme with the ax symbol. Um, that's going to be a big part of my army. One of them is going in the orange and black scheme that I did for my Grail Knight Champion because I love it. And as for what the last unit of knights is, I'm not 100% sure. I, I just don't know yet. It might be another unit of Grail Knights, to be honest. I think I do have the models to get another five or six Grail Knights together. So it might just be that. With that being the case, that means I will have two units of Knights Errant, four units of Knights of the Realm, two units of Grail Knights, two units of Pegasus Knights, and a unit of Questing Knights. So that I'm very much knighted up with my Bretonian Force. I just have about 100 infantry left to paint, um, <laughs> which is a very much a much slower process, funnily enough, than painting 50 or 60 Knights. Don't ask me why. But uh, I am really soldiering through. I really want to finish off every single miniature from my Bretonian Force. 
um, and just have this kind of epic collection. I can't wait to see it all on a tabletop together and just feel a, like a sense of pride. This was the first, these are the first miniatures that I purchased from Games Workshop when I started working there. Day one, my first discounted purchase ever was this Bretonian army, which was now 17, 18 years ago. And only now with the re-release of the old world is the force finally getting painted. And it is just such a bizarre feeling of accomplishment to see these models, which, you know, I played 50 games with when they were just gray and metal, like unsprayed, like just total disrespect in using them in that state. Uh, and then they obviously sat in a case for 15 years of that unloved. And now all of a sudden they become this like prized collection, you know, something that I feel so much pride towards. Um, and that I'm super proud. Like I'm taking this army with me to Warhammer World this month to play in their first old world tournament. I was very lucky to get my hands on some tickets for that. Um, they weren't sent to me or anything. I literally sat at the computer hitting refresh, refresh when the tickets went on sale. They sold out in about three seconds but I managed to get one. And I am bringing my Bretonians with me to play in that tournament because I'm proud of them and I want them to be seen by the world. Um, so yeah, hopefully as I start to uh, work on more old world armies, um, I will get that same sense of accomplishment with some of the other forces out there, like my high elves. Originally, I showed two different blacks with the uh, when I was going to highlight the shields. It was obviously the Dark Reaper or the Death Reaper and then the Dungeon Stone Grey. I decided not to use the Dungeon Stone Grey. There was enough color on the model with the red and the blue that I decided just going up to the mid-tone of the black was perfect. I wanted a nice base coat or a nice blank canvas for transfers later on. And I think it worked a trick. I also highlighted the horse with that as well. And now we're going through the same motions we did with all the Grail Knights and all the Quest Knights and all the other ones. The highlights for all of the, the fabric stuff is the same, all the, the tack and barding for the horse, um, all the metallics are all the same for all the knights. So even though you can add as many wild colors as you want into this army, because three or four specific details on every horse are the same, it looks like a cohesive army and I really, really love that. This guy's headdress doesn't really have any kind of family headdress, which is a bit bizarre. He has a skull. I don't know whose skull that is, but he does have one. It's a bit morbid for a questing knight. It's a bit morbid for knights in general, to be honest with you. Carrying around the dead remains of someone is not usually their repartee, unless you're talking about the battle pilgrims. I forgot about battle pilgrims. I don't know whether I'm going to do any videos on them, actually. Damn it. So many cool units. <laughs> this is one of my favorite touches as well, using the Iron Breaker Silver to highlight all the silvers and gold parts. It highlights, it brings them all together and makes them pop really nice. I just love it. I would also like to know what your favorite knight scheme has been. And I think we will combine both the Grail Knight Week and the Questing Knight Week. So we did five Grail Knights and we did six Questing Knights. So there's 11 Knights in there, all in their own unique color schemes. And I would love to know which one of those do you like the most. So make sure you check them all out and let me know in the comments below which one you think it is the favorite. And perhaps the one that gets the most votes will become that uh, extra unit of Knights. They might get all painted like that. Obviously, as I was painting the Knight, I was painting the bit that goes on his back all together. His shield matches, the sword matches, all those extra bits. I threw some dragon transfers on him, got them fixed in place, glued the back bit on and had a finished questing knight champion. I'm so pleased with how he finally looks. The last thing I have to do with the entire unit is flock them. I'm doing those in like army batches. So now that I have another three or four units painted up, I think it is time to break those out and get them kind of finished off. Here is the night that I finished off on the Twitch streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So unfortunately, if you missed that this week, I will be continuing to paint some more awesome stuff uh, next week. So feel free to join along. But I am super pleased with how this guy turned out as well. It is the old Bretonian lore miniature um, who took the questing vow. So he does fit beautifully in with the unit. Here is the four guys previously done. And here I am adding the Twitch stream night to the unit to make the unit five strong. And then, of course, adding the knight that I finished in today's video, the champion in the Mediocre Hobbies color scheme, and adding him into the unit as well for a completed unit of six unique 
questing nights knowing that there is four more scopes out there that i need to get my hands on and add to this unit for the last rank has gotten me very excited here he is by himself in his beautiful orange and blue scheme one that i like i said i'm so happy with yeah just delighted and of course i will show you what he looks like in the entire unit in some pictures now as well to give you guys a final kind of send off to what the unit of questing knights does look like and of course i will share a bunch more images of these guys on my instagram in the next couple of days as well i hope you guys enjoyed this mental week as much as i did okay guys and there we have it the sergeant questing knight is now finished add it into the squad and there we have it six unique sculpts Questing Knights all painted in their own personal heraldry, three of them for my patrons and three of them made up by myself. Very, very pleased to have that unit finally painted up after so many years. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It's been a wild ride. Next week should be a return to your regularly scheduled content, i.e. five videos all based on own things. We will get Middle Earth, we'll get Old World, we'll get 40K, Age of Sigma, 3D printing. Those will be the five videos I do each week concurrently until the next project. So hopefully you're excited to see that. If you are, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of those future uploads. If you enjoyed this video and this series, make sure you give it a like and ask me any questions you want in the comments below or give me any suggestions for any future content that you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.